Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Welcome on this, I think about to be rainy, but about, but much warmer January day, January 23rd. Today's going to be a little different. I am um, going to break this video into two parts. Um, in the event that I might be drawing attention to someone who doesn't want attention and I don't want to offend anyone but I received a comment that really touched my heart so I just wanted to read it and um, give that person a little encouragement and um, in the event that they don't want to be they didn't put their full name but in the event um, they don't want to be um, put in the spotlight I can delete the video if I have to so I'm just going to read it and it was from GB on the, I believe it was the Japanese paper kneading technique video. I am so glad that I found you today, 1-16-2024. I started with recycling flyers and making paper beads using glue, Mod Podge, and a knitting needle. So then I got tons of videos in that craft. But the more I looked, the more I felt that my beads are not as good as the people who had winding tools, different glues, then sealers, etc., etc. Like most crafts, for example, please using tiny bits of cloth and remnants of some things that you made but kept them, making beautiful things from cloth that are usually thrown out. There are many examples like that with a lot of crafts. I became discouraged, disappointed, angry that all this recycling needs me to go out and buy more and more stuff and some extremely bad for the environment, chemicals and producing more garbage. So I am so, so happy that I found you to take away the stress of crafting, not adding to environmental problems. I treasure my little dress made from a rice sack because after the war in my country, everything was precious. A bottle with cork to buy oil, paper bags to buy things till they fell apart and then are put in shoes to seal holes, fishnet, made, fishnet homemade bags, cans to grow plants. Everything was recycled like my uncle's suit was made in a suit for my mother and then into a coat for me his shirts into a dress for me, and then all these things became toys, washcloths, etc. Thank you for your nice, sensible, calming video. Art of any kind should be relaxing, not stressful. And this is my reply, but my reply is hardly important. Um, thank you so much. You touched my heart. Really, that doesn't even cover how much you touched my heart <laughs> but you almost made me cry actually uh, you never know what you can do until you have nothing I truly believe that my upbringing in a single parent household without a lot of money contributed a great deal to my creativity you haven't lived until you have fixed a broken toilet with a plastic hair roller pin that you found in a drawer my grandmother had 10 children. Her husband died when she was age 32, so she was left to raise all 10 <clears throat> as pretty much a first-generation immigrant. Um, she came here at age 2, and I don't think her father even spoke English. She came here from Poland. She often made clothes out of flour sacks and had an outdoor oven. To this day, my aunts say she made the best pies they ever had. My husband's family in Italy also had their share of similar experiences. 
I've lived both sides, and I pray my daughter has a better life. But my heart is to do more with less and expand the intellect rather than the wallet. And I appreciate the inspiration I get from around the world. It is so much fun, the invention. What can I make with this? Sometimes I feel maybe this idea is stupid. Maybe people won't get it. But in the end, it's just the joy of creating. So I want to encourage you in whatever little way I can. And you know what makes a good paper bead? Practice. <laughs> That's all it takes to make a good paper bead. Um, I don't even seal my beads because a lot of the time when I do, I don't like the way they look. So I like the look of the paper. So with all that being said, um, you can seal them with Mod Podge and that's fine. You can seal them with the cheapest shellac you can find. I've seen people do that. That's fine. But the, the thing that really makes a good paper bead is practice and skill and getting them nice and even. You know? You know what I mean if you've made paper beads. And that's really all it takes. And that's my second point of the conversation is that I wouldn't I had no intention of starting a channel where people have to buy and buy and buy because that would certainly limit my audience for one thing <laughs> and it, it wouldn't be inclusive um, I don't have the room to buy and buy I already regret half the things I bought so my channel was always about creativity and understanding since it's a lot of my channel is about junk journals and junk journals actually originated in the depression or, or maybe after the war I can't remember specifically but they are the result of people who didn't have a lot so this might be offensive to people but I think that's true today and I know there are a lot of people who are using their skills to put actual food on the table so um, using their handy craft skills to put actual food on the table and it goes beyond just being a mere hobby. So that's another reason why I like to stress um, the value is in labor and the value is in skill and the lastly the value is in creativity and uniqueness. But that being said, this is also addressed to Holly, where I did not mean to laugh when you said you love my style because I don't particularly think I have a style yet. But I do think it's important to have a style and develop a style because when people want a Monet, they want a Monet and that's how you get known. So that adds value to your product. So all that being said, I strive to make this channel about creativity, making things instead of buying things, finding unique ways to use common things, and um, just exploring that as a new medium and taking it as far as you can take it. So 
if I encouraged you and if I inspired you and if I made you happy, that makes me happy because I truly, truly feel an affinity <laughs> for people who don't have a lot just from my own life experience. So I guess that's, I have an affinity for that. And um, I agree about all of the chemicals and things that are just getting, especially plastics, especially plastics, everything that ends up in a landfill Whereas paper itself is actually biodegradable. It's the plastics. But I can honestly can rarely find a way to make plastic look good. But probably I'm not going to go there that much because then I'll have to start talking about America Inc. And then I will really go off the handle about all the ways they trick people into buying plastic and um, then I will probably get kicked off YouTube and I can't afford that <laughs> so um, I'm not going to go there about plastic and America Inc and corporate America but um, it's just fun to me it's just the minute I saw junk journals I thought they were such, I thought they were a totally new art form, but they're not. I was intrigued about trying to make things beautiful with nothing. And then it didn't take me long to realize that there were many, many, many people around the world who had been doing that for centuries. So, um, they inspire me, and all of that inspires me. <coughs> so I hope I can pass that on to you. So, okay, I don't want this to be too long because I have to get to the next video, but your words truly tr touch my heart, mostly because of the gift of the Magi type story where you made things for each other out of love and if you have that and you treasured that and you still treasure that you are truly rich indeed but again all that that being said i understand that words mean little If you're struggling to provide food and a house for yourself, words don't mean anything. So, on the practical side, I truly hope to help people build skill, the value of understand the value of labor, and to price their things accordingly, and Uh, uniqueness and then uniqueness and creativity so that you can make a name for yourself and and have a product create the desire for your product and stand out from the crowd so okay thank you again I can't even tell you what that meant to me I'll see you in the next craft have a great day bye